just having the stream of water going all off the back of the caravan is a lot easier uh, again i'll do another little patch you can see there with our scraper now with just a little bit of water how easily so the other half now we're going to try with soapy water nothing else just soap and water and sort of just take the tops off does just as good a job so this time we are caravan roof cleaning and we're using our stanchion we did a video previously uh, about saying our new toy for cleaning the caravan roofs and this is basically why we need our stanchion when we get a roof that is like this and it's got these little black spots all over it and they're basically just mold sort of spores and um, when you'll just normally wash it normally they won't come off so what i want to do today is show you how to remove them and what's the quickest and easiest and most effective way to do it uh, obviously if you've not got a big stanchion like this uh, you can use a ladder putting a, a towel along the side here uh, putting the ladder against the caravan and then just making sure that the towel is wrapped around a good couple of times on the ladder so that it's not going to cause any damage to the side of the caravan and then either somebody holding the ladder for you or properly secured at the, at the base obviously you want to gulp the ladder and be safe and secure so let's get on with trying to remove these so you can see we've given it a quick wash off in that area there but it's not removing the black lichen bits so what we've got is a little plastic scraper and what we're going to do is just take off the top of those and then with some cleaner and actually we've got some jenny cam i'll show you this cleaner in a minute what we've got and it's quite neat and i've just got a little scrubbing uh, dishcloth pad and all that we're going to do is just rub each one uh, and they will come straight off uh, and all that I'm doing at the minute is just going around and removing each try and get my camera work properly uh, I'm just removing each individual one with the little scouring pad now these won't do any damage to the paintwork um, they're not going to cause any real issues um, but it's just getting it really wetting it first is, is ideal um, but you can see just there that once we've took the top off they come off really really easily um, what I'll do is I'll just wash that little section off there just to show you then how that's come off and all that we're going to do is literally just little sections we have got a Brillo pad which that is too strong in all honesty um, just the little scouring pad that you'd use for washing your dishes etc dishes dishes i can't get my words out um so that's what you'd use and that's as good as anything to be fair and we'll just work on all the little ones you can wash the roof off first and then go over and do the little individual bits but i'm going to probably just work my way through this in sections and we'll have a look in a minute what it's looking like uh, so that is now as it's looking uh, again good idea is just either put the caravan uh, facing forwards or backwards probably if we raise the front of the caravan up if we haven't got the back legs down and all the water then is just going to go straight off the back and the back is easier to wash than the front um, so just having the stream of water going all off the back of the caravan is a lot easier uh, again I'll do another little patch you can see there with our scraper now with just a little bit of water how easily that will actually just remove a lot of the area and then just back in with our little pad uh, and it's not then too bad uh, it's a lot easier on this proper stanchion um, because it's like a proper sort of scaffold working platform that we've got to work on then so it does make it a lot easier but that is just basically how it's going to be done um, and it just makes a lot lot easier work of uh, of that and then what we'll do is we'll show you once we've done a bit more how that's looking 
Uh, you'll see, just by washing the roof normally, we're just left with all the little black spots. So entirely up to you how you do it. Uh, and again, what you'll find is that as you're doing it, you'll find a way that sort of works really well for you. Uh, what works best for me might not work best for you. Uh, I tend to like, I feel like I'm doing the job twice if I've done it with the brush first like this and then I'm going back over it again afterwards. Um, so I sort of tend to prefer just to use my scraper and my brush in the first instance and then that's sort of just getting everything off at the first at the first go uh, and I'm not sort of doing the job twice but that is the easiest way that I've found to to do this um, and all those little black spots then and again it's a lot easier once they they've got a bit of water on them it's quite quick then uh, it doesn't take you too long to actually do it again we'll just wash that off and you'll see there where I've brushed it we've got the black spots but where I've rubbed it with the pad it's absolutely perfect like new uh, again it's then just reaching over as far as you can hopefully if your arms are long enough you can sort of reach into the middle do one side and then do the other side uh, you'll see we've got the roof raised or the front of the caravan raised up so now all of our water is going off the back and as I say the back is normally a lot easier to wash than the front of the caravan so uh, it'll just make your life easier uh, afterwards. Obviously always start on the roof because if you wash the sides and then you've got all this running down the, uh, the back you've got to do it all again so uh, just do the roof first and then do the rest of the caravan. And a bit more close up of the front section so you can see we've got quite a lot of the mould spores on here um, and literally even just with our plastic scraper take the top off it's a little bit wet now and just the plastic scraper without any cleaning chemicals will do a fantastic job of sort of taking them off it's not going to do any damage to the to the paintwork And that's without any there's probably a little bit of cleaning solution on on that um, but not a huge amount and that will sort of just get the majority of the the tops of it taken off and then just a slight scouring over to really bring it up nicely and that is the one half of the roof done um, Trying to see how long it's taken. About 40 minutes, I'd say, to do the whole half of it. Um, obviously, key, it's, it's warm day. It's not the best ideal day to be doing it today. So it's making sure then that you're soaking up the sides of the caravan as well. So any muck that's running down, um, it's not leaving big dirty marks. And so uh, keep wetting the sides, front and back. Um, as you're going around and doing it so that you're not creating yourself a load more work on the sides as well then so just keeping that nice and wet but the uh, the scraper and the little uh, foam pad the scouring bit works really really well so the other half now we're going to try with soapy water nothing else just soap and water uh, so this side has already been washed off uh, and what I'm going to do is just literally with the this is literally soapy water now just on the the hard bits again and again so you can see that soapy water will actually even so you've not got to go out and buy anything proper just go and miss, nick the uh, the wife's washing up liquid and sort of just take the tops off 
trying to reach these ones from too far away um, but yeah just literally reaching the reaching over take the tops off and then just use your scouring sponge and again they'll come off really well uh, I could have done with a little tripod set up videoing as I'm doing it which I've not got today but uh, I'll just get this front section done and then show you what the soapy water has done bubble-tastic uh, I just said that's great that is that's, uh, I've got now I've got very soft hands a couple of bits that I haven't got but the fairy washing up liquid does just as good a job but the difference is you end up with lovely soft hands after doing it like that uh, and also it's easier I hope I think uh, when it runs down the front and the sides um, I'm now sort of lubricating all the rest of the roof with the fairy liquid so hopefully it all washes off a bit easier there's a couple of bits that I've missed and obviously it's a thing of just going over wash it off and then just go over the last little bits that you've missed but yeah the fairy liquid uh, did a cracking cracking job um, what I'm going to do got that last little bit I think Scott's going to uh, finish off that bit uh, that was his training the video was the training <laughs> of uh, what the best product and how best and I think I like the fairy liquid I think I quite like the fairy liquid by when you're doing it by hand uh, probably wash it off with the the Jenny Chem first if you want to uh, but in all honesty I think we could get away with just fairy liquid and it's nice on your hands I've got lovely soft hands now and it's done so all the black bits have gone the uh, little bit over on that side is just literally just got to wash it off again um, but yeah the soapy water um, funnily that somebody said that the other week um, soapy water is as good as anything and to be fair it does the job so just a bit of uh, it's just a bit awkward the roof is always just a little bit awkward but um, hopefully that has shown you an easier way to do it and um, and just make life a little bit easier um, as I say just using the wife's washing, washing up sponge and uh, a fairy liquid and you'll have lovely soft hands hopefully uh, you've enjoyed today's video um, and the roof's looking good thanks for watching I'm Mark at the Caravan Place <laughs>